Hello my dear students how are you all I welcome you to this English class of class 8 in our previous class we read a story related to Akbar and Birbal where Birbal caught the thief so cleverly so today we will read a tale piece of that story where an old man will catch the thief cleverly so let's start the story name of the story is finding the thief so now i am reading this paragraph all of you listen me carefully one night an old man stopped at a small hotel in a village there he ate his dinner went upstairs to his room and went to sleep Soon afterwards the manager of the hotel came and woke him up and said sir please come downstairs i need your help the old man got up and went down what has happened he asked so what happened one night an old man stopped at a small hotel that old man stopped stayed in a small hotel in a village that hotel was in a village there he ate his dinner he took his dinner there went upstairs to his room his room was in upstairs his room was in upstairs and went to sleep because as it is a night he went to sleep soon afterward after that what happened suddenly the manager of the hotel came the manager came and what he said and woke him up and said he just woke the old man okay sir please come downstairs he request the old man to come to downstairs I need your help that manager need the help of the old man The old man got up and went down the old man got up and went to the downstairs What had hap- what has happened he asked the old man asked to the manager that what has happened Just see next what happened Let's see what happened next The manager said this five men came in last night now one of them says that his money is missing and no one has left the room since then we all have faith in you please tell us if you can who took the money Go get me a cock said the old man the manager went out and brought him a cock the man were wondering what he was going to do with the cock so what happened the manager said the manager request the old man to come to the downstairs and uh, when the old man asked the manager what has happened the manager said this five man came in last night so five persons came last night now one of them says that his money is missing so out of the five persons one person is now complaining he is complaining that his money is missing and no one has left the room since then no one has left the room we all have faith in you so all the five person and the manager has faith in the old man okay please tell us if you can who took the money so they request the old man to tell who took the money go get me a cock said the old man the old man said just bring me a cock 
द मैनेजर वेंट आउट एंड ब्रॉट हिम ए कॉक द मैनेजर जस्ट ब्रॉट ए कॉक द मैन वेर वॉन्डरिंग वॉट ही वॉज गोइंग टू डू विद द कॉक द फाइव पीपल वेर वॉन्डरिंग दे नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द वॉट शुड द ओल्ड मैन डू So let's read what happened next. Now he said, "I will get a pot," and he went to the kitchen and took a big pot which was kept over the fire. Now I will turn the pot upside down over the cock," said the old man. He put the cock on the table and turned the pot. upside down over it after that he locked the door and put the keys in his pocket put out the lights he said and cover the fire so they did that making the room quite dark so you can see in the picture how two persons are standing and a cock is there and a pot is also there here is a cock and this is the pot now he said he will get a pot so the old man wanted a pot so he went to the kitchen and took a big pot which was kept over the fire now i will turn the pot upside down over the cock said the old man the old man said he will put the pot upside down okay he put the cock on the table and turned the pot upside down over it you can see in the picture how the how the old man just keeping that pot upside down over the cock after that he locked the door and put the keys in his pocket the old man locked the door the room where the cock and the pot is over it he just locked the room and put the keys in his pocket put out the lights he said the old man said to put out the lights to switch up the lights and cover the fire so they did that five people and the manager did that making the room quite dark so now the room is fully dark okay then the old man said now all of you line up and pass the pot one by one so the old man asked the five persons to line up and pass the pot one by one rub the pot with your hands as you pass so you have to rub the pot he instructed that five person when you pass the pot you have to rub the pot when the thief rubs the pot the cock will crow three times so he said when the thief will cross the pot and rub it the cock will crow three times all the men went by the pot and rubbed it so one by one all the five persons went and rubbed it no sound was heard but no sound was there the cock had not crowed at all the cock had not crowed at all so next see what happened anybody else who hasn't rubbed the pot asks the old man nobody spoke light the lamp he said the man lit the lamps and the candles again and got the fire going bright once more the room was now well lit as before okay so nobody else who has not rubbed the pot asks the old man old man asked anybody else left to rub the pot nobody spoke no one answered light the lamps he said so he said 
to light the lamps. The man lit the lamps and candles again. So the man they just lit the candles and lamps and got the fire going bright once more. The room was now well lit as before. So the room is now fully lighted. Okay. So next, then the old man said, now man line up again and hold your hands up towards me. They did so and he looked carefully at all their hands and there was only one man whose hands were not black from the shirt on the bottom of the pot. So he pointed to the man with clean hands and said, that's your thief, catch him and make him give back the money that he has taken. So what happened? Then the old man said, after that the old man said, now the room is fully lighted and the old man said, now man line up again. He said to the all the five persons to make a line once again and hold your hands up towards me and hold your hands up towards me like this. They did so and he looked carefully at their hands. So all the five persons, they did so. They just up towards the old man. They hold their hands up towards the old man. And the old man carefully watched their hands. And there was only one man whose hands were not black. So out of the five persons, one man hands were not black. From the shoot of the bottom of the pot, on the bottom of the pot, there was black due to the shoot. So out of the five person, one person hand was not black. So he pointed to the man with clean hands and said, so the old man pointed his hands towards that person. That's your thief. He said, that's your thief. Catch him and make him give back the money. So he said, just catch him and ask him to give back the money that he has taken. So the man whose hands were fully clean, now he was the thief. Okay. So what we learned today, we read a story and understood the cleverness of an old man to catch the thief. So this much is for today. Bye-bye.